How's it going fellas? My name is Oros and this is another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 and in today's episode we're doing the main quest which let's do this one first for for a stranger. It's a main quest for someone we haven't met before. Or have we? Hey, do I know you? It's the Indian guys yes, and the writer. I believe we've met. We have. But that guest that parted. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least Mr. to X. Uh, Can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Uh, uh, to be clear, he, yeah, I did. he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm yes. Sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, they got Indian names. When the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the oh, those were the guys. Side. Remember yeah, them? Powers of observation. It's my people before that was, well, really I long time ago, so you may not remember if you're watching high. my videos. We've made but we did. Treaties. You know, treaties were broken. get stalked by and Indians somewhere at the beginning punished. of the game. Punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, we will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. It's always with the oil. There were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge Leviticus reserves Cornwall. of oil It's under always their land. something about him. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Yeah, yeah, I'm really not. I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Mm -hmm. You're much? talking. I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a Mercenary. Like two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. Is this one of the You're missions that just triggers another mission? Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should oh, head over man. to the It's a waste of our time. In his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Alright, so we apparently. Have another bloody mission. What is it this time? It's uh, nowhere. Okay, cool. It's a cool location for a mission. Nowhere, you know. Let's go to the professor because that's definitely not gonna disappear. Hopefully, and that will lead to something. I think this is the final quest for the professor. It's not really a quest. It's more of another fucking side. Cutscene. Man, it's really shitty whenever I just want to do a mission and it ends up being a cutscene. It's like, I wanna count that as a mission. I just watched the cutscene and didn't even do nothing. But whenever, like. But then now, only missions I have are, like, really far away. Whatever that fucking thing was, anyway. Let's see what these people are watching. There's a mission for Sadie at, the, at their camp, so maybe if this ends up being boring, we'll go back to our camp and do this. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, I wanna see the professor. Rob, why would I fucking rob somebody? 
There he is. The mercies of knowledge. In a better place. Stay calm. Breathe. <laughs> Freaking out. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence. Is it gonna be calm? I don't know, is it, how much electricity is this creating? Incredible! He's nearly dead! So humane! <laughs> Cooking him alive. <laughs> nice. So humane! His life may have been troubled, but his passing is... Peaceful. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, he zapped himself. Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, shit, skin up. They don't seem overly humane to me. The fuck was those noises in the background? Mighty fine. Mighty fine. Well, this ain't happening. I guess hanging people is a little less messed, messed up than electrocuting them. It's like if you would execute someone by slowly cutting him to little pieces. Anyway, let's go to Trelawney since we don't have anything else to fucking do. Maybe with a little bit of luck. No. I got no fucking luck. Oh yeah, I forgot about the vampire. Maybe it will happen to assemble upon him. Cause for fuck's sake, I don't know how long I've been trying to get this motherfucker to appear. He does not want to. Okay, where's Trelawney? What's he doing? What's he doing? Is Trelawney here? Is that him? Doesn't appear. A fine night of... What? Douchebashery? The fuck does that mean? What, am I gonna be a part of it? I'm telling you, I've been sitting here a whole day. Oh, there you are, my dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Wait, did he just deliver well, something? Well, you can't play at the tables on a lot oh, no, he threw it away. Like I thought the guy who no, passed him to like, took it so home. well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? I don't want to change my outfit yet. So no Why do you want me to change my outfits? Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was uh, the this one, I imagine. Mm, not too bad. And it's for free, so let's get it. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. I don't know about the aristocrat, but let's go. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. I wonder what's the. Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite Parents of uh, Arthur Morgan, because we get some info about John. Uh, his, ma his mother was some whore, and his father was some jackass. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win, and everyone's going to think you're but some new parents. Is there any info about them? To lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. But the perhaps. Is killing me. Oh, don't I'd rather be sure about it. am I gonna make we it or not. No, this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Some 
big old farm boy chased Pete and his friend all over town. All right. I was kind of hoping that maybe if this mission ends, I'll like come here at night. I don't want to fucking cut my hair. I can trim my facial hair, that's it. Leave my haircut alone. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. Okay. Extra clean shave. So that's fine. I don't even have a mustache. There you go. Just leave my haircut alone. I don't want Thank to get it rid of it. Like prince, Come on. Let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Man, you set up everything, it's even in the right yeah, place, yeah, good no. lord. Really are coming there big style. Just <laughs> fantastic. To the Grand, Gorgon, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win it up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's a mark? Hamlet? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. Way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune and... Hosiery of all things. <laughs> what? Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. I hope this mission is so safe for me and I'm not gonna get killed. Strauss is sitting behind him. How does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. It seems like you set up everything. What I like that. Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weapon be here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Alright, I don't know why my belt acted now, so weird, but whatever. What Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. I don't know what that means exactly. This pair of boys we met in New York. Oh, hello. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be. Very cool. Than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. So Javier is getting on a hello, boat. Boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. All right. Usually, rich people. Require all patrons to hand over their guns. I don't have any guns, right? The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Mister. Now where can I get Alright then. Sit on a poker table, you say, huh? Only poker game I ever played was the are poker night at the inventory. Since I only played it because you got free items in TF2 that were pretty cool. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business in the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. Callahan. I hope you're a player. 
I'm a player. Of course I'm a player. I even run a fucking Let's Play channel. Let's play poker. Nine and a joker. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, really no are. Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. Jeez, why do I have so much money? Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> I'm a joker. Show me those cards, damn it. We got uh, nothing. Okay, sorry, if we get something boys, like. It all. We'll see about that. Uh, no, we got nothing. What all in? Call. What the hell? Here we go then. I. Fuck! I was supposed to wait for Strauss. Hello, my ladies. Queen high, Queen high. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. I fucking knew I'm not gonna make it. Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see oh, if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, oh, you fucking will when I, I rob you. Just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just Forgot like. Forgot to look wife. at Strauss and what he's doing. Mm, what was my cards again? Queens. I do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Strauss, what do you say? Yes, yes. Now what the hell? It's only money. Interesting. Battle Jack. Fuck counts. you. <gasps> oh yes, I want the money. Can I keep this, please? Shit. Shit. Five hundred dollars is quite a lot. Hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard. Well. I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Ah, oh, he's gonna bet something more. I gotta watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. Swiss. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. It's somewhere upstairs. So you Should must go know smoothly, the right? Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I know him better than anyone. Operation heads up in New Hanover. Kings. <laughs> I am one hundred percent all in, Mister Callahan. I mean, I guess Strauss is gonna tell me to keep going in. Yes, 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 yes. Well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And those uh, car dealers are definitely hearing a lot of good stories. Shit. Fuck. Oh no, he has three aces. Yes, you little beauty. What I got? A royal flush? No. Flush. damn you! I got a diamond flush. Well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but um, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Let's -a go. Please, cash yeah. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. All right. You're having quite the night. Call him a greaser. Yeah, so far. Be racist to him. Show how fucking sure of yourself you are. A job. 
Yeah, say something stupid. We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Good to know. Thanks for telling me that. Next. I don't know why you're showing off your weapon. Yeah, I know, I know. What, so you, in your fucking state of racism, you still like watch, put Mexicans sir, over sir, black people? Really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have and then a woman at the end, I imagine. Alright, cool music. I like this bass. Down, down. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Of course, of course. So beat the shit out of him, I beat the shit out of him. Let's see this work, how does this work? Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Give me that. Son of a bitch. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Kick him. Kill him. I don't know. Do anything. Loot the safe. I mean, he's there. He's alive. Idiot, huh? I told you. I told you punch him. But you didn't do it. Oh, fuck. Everybody probably heard that. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Give me this gun. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Can't pick it up. Shit. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If yeah, but I do have a gun, right? I didn't throw away the pistol I took. Please don't tell me I did. Don't tell me I did. Alright, I'm escorted by one of theirs, right? How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we should even agree to <laughs> we know we need to. I don't think anyone Maybe calls Mexican creases nowadays. All goes crazy. Which it sure Didn't even know they have a fucking bar, slur like that before I played this game. I thought a greaser was like one of those uh, fun, bikers from the 60s, you know, with leather jackets and stuff. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. No good cheat? Who the fuck you called that? You bitch. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There exactly. he is. Exactly. <laughs> hey, who the hell this was? Come on, Arthur. You gotta get out of here. The fuck happened? I don't understand what just happened. Headshot after headshot. Okay, nice. We don't know this ain't my show, silly. Okay, let's make some progress. Good here. Good, good job, Arthur. You didn't meant to take cover of this. Okay, wait. Busy shooting people. So how do we get... Oh, what, are we swimming out of here? Are you kidding me? Arthur can't even swim 10 meters without fainting. Are you kidding that we seriously swim away? From what I learned, Arthur isn't the best at swimming. He does can. Swim, I'm like a John. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, but, you know, how much did we get? Uh, a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. Money didn't melt it in the water. 
Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. It's my watch from now on, fuck you. I think you can actually equip a watch and like check out on time, like, you know, take out the watch and look at it. I don't know why would you do that since there's a timer on the pause menu. I don't know, maybe to immerse yourself in the game. Oh, fuck off, I thought you would actually bring me back in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Lady of the what the fuck. Yeah, we earned $800. Damn! Well, that was good, my friend. You know what? Um, look, it's kind of getting dark a little bit, isn't it? I'm gonna do one fucking thing. I'm going to investigate something really quickly. We're not going to the vamp. Is it like. Sure that this is the hour. Maybe this is not, you know, evening. Maybe this is more like morning. Ah, oh, fuck sake. I look a stranger. So I meet him. Let's go and introduce ourselves to more strangers. Cause why the hell wouldn't we do that? Maybe people trigger a mission. Maybe not. Like you know, you, we only did this mission so far in this episode, so we could still do one thing. I mean, one episode I did three missions, but one of them was really short and kind of not that impressive, so it wasn't really that good. Oh, I know, this isn't even a mission. Well, it is a mission, but it's not one I'm gonna actually do. This is one I'm gonna completely ignore. I'm really sorry. Okay, so this is this guy, and this uh, little shop. Really nice place he got. Definitely quite an important. One moment, please. This Don't know how to put it. Delicate. Hey. Interesting character. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I introduce Kilgore, you? Kilgore, I swear to God, it's like the most stupid uh, last name I've heard. I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, yeah, I can no, tell because no, you're so, so weirdly skinny. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An esthete? <gasps> Something like that. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. No Belgian? No, no, no. They are Philistines in that area, not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why? I thought China was from China. I don't know. You're Guess I was a fucking idiot. A wanderer, a lost soul, cast out from heaven. <sighs> sure. Well, sounds I really good. Probably the best way anyone has ever described me. For my oh, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. So if you remember, we had a mission for a lady who was digging out dinosaur bones, and she tasked us with finding dinosaur bones. We also had a mission for a guy who wanted to... who wanted us to find some sort of... Uh, drawings around the world. And now this is another... Person that basically wants us to find a bunch of shit around the world. And I'm not gonna do it, because I don't care. I got better things to do than run around this damn world collecting feathers or some bullshit. Flags. I don't know. Who cares? Uh, that's kind of disappointing. I thought I would get a mission. Mission completion. Do we have some other mission around here? No, we don't. 
You have a Sadie Adler mission, and I swear to God, you. Oh, look. And Valentine's is a mission? Jim Boy Calloway. I do remember him. He was the gunslinger who we did missions where we had to travel around the world killing different gunslingers. Okay, that's a little interesting. Shame they're so far away. Okay. This is some kind of out in the open. I have another idea. You know how I messed up last time and I assumed that maybe I came even too late for that event to happen? So how about this time around? This time around? I will set up a camp and sleep in it until evening and maybe if when I get to Saint Denis, I'll actually manage to to finally fucking do something. I swear to God, it's really annoying me. The past few days, this fucking I mean, past few episodes, this fucking vampire just refusing to show up. I really want him to show up because he's pretty cool and he gives you a unique unique knife, and I want a unique knife, even though my one is pretty good looking because it has skulls. And skulls are badass. Alright, evening. Let's sleep till the evening, maybe a fire will arrive, let's say, I don't know, near mid midnight. The place where I wanted to. Maybe then he will finally goddamn show up and let me do something. Tear down the campfire, let's tear down the campfire. Alright, alright. So le let's see about that. So we will pretty much finish everything I wanted to finish in this damn town. I think by the time... Okay, what's the time? That's not even fucking close. <sighs> what? Okay, what is... What if I do it again? Maybe, I don't know, maybe, let's, let's wait until night again. I swear to god, it's really annoying me. I swear to fucking god. Let's wait until night time. Evening is too early, I bet he won't appear. He appears somewhere at night, I thought maybe evening would be like... I don't know, 10? 10 a.m.? I don't know. See, this seems like an appropriate time for him to appear in that location. But I have a feeling by the time I get there, he'll just disappear. Really fucking annoying me, to be honest. After this episode, I should fucking change my outfit, to be honest. I swear to god, I'm kinda sick of this look. It's alright. It doesn't even look bad, you know, with like the context of the game. Even though I'm dressed as a Woody, I don't look uh, that, that bad, you know? Definitely look the fancy of all the people in my camp. But not. Do you hear those creepy noises? Fucking like this. I think this is seriously due to my low, uh, due to my low honor points. So if I had my honor points higher, I don't, I never heard that happening. In my original, my original playthrough, I was really doing all good things. I was keep helping everybody, even when that wasn't really worth it. Okay, I'm gonna help the beggar, cause... Cause I wanna find out about the... Backstage business and the gunslinger. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Uh, it's nice to give something instead of just begging. And beggars in this town are all fucking honorable people. Ah, uh, shit. The beggar I'm looking for is some some black guy. I remember him being black. He showed up near the clothes store and he was on the ground just kind of drinking, screaming about losing all of his money. Get a hold of yourself. I'm sorry, Jesus, it's the street. You should have fucking washed out, you piece of garbage. Let's see if it worked this time. If it didn't, I think I'm giving up on this fucking asshole. No, didn't work. That feller is heading for a whooping way he behaves. 
Is something like wrong with this? Fuck. Maybe I broke this fucking event. Maybe it will never appear. Mm, whatever happened to it. Kinda of disappointed I wanted a unique knife. I ain't afraid to use this gun. The fuck? Do what you're gonna do. Um Now um kind of speechless. What happened? Why did this nice fella decide to point a gun on me? Fuck, let's get out of here, Jesus Christ. Every damn time I go to this fucking vampire thing, I end up somehow getting chased by the cops. It's every time, I swear. Last time I went, I also got chased by the cops because I was doing the graveyard mission. By the police. It's far too interesting. Shit, indeed. Really doing bad. Oh, craps. Craps, craps, craps. They ain't gonna give up chasing me. I think I'm just gonna shoot them. I'm gonna start shooting back, I swear. Gotta get to our camp. You know, I definitely see doing a playthrough without the map, because it would be really interesting to just kind of memorize the whole place. To get everywhere by yourself, that would definitely be kind of cool. Also, I would like to see something about the camp, you know, because I haven't been helping out the camp recently in any way. There we go. We lost them. And I don't think anyone's gonna appear on this road, so see you guys later in the next episode. Bye.